leading or directing a team, I think the, the important pieces of that are um, really uh, being able to influence others on the team and then also playing to people's strengths. So everyone has their own strengths and identifying and recognizing strengths in different team members and deploying um, people who are good at uh, particular things. So if you have someone who's good at, um, at, at analyzing the data, then have them do more of the analysis. Or if you have someone who's strategic, have them give, let them have those opportunities to have strategic input. Um, so really playing on the strengths of others, I think, is the most important thing. Don't try to do it all yourself because you're not going to be strong at everything yourself. Really playing on the strengths of others, I think, is important. And then mentoring others, developing others on the team. You know, I don't just develop the statisticians who report to me. I help to develop all members of the team. So there might be a scientist who maybe I see something in the scientist. I say, well, you know, you, you have these great opinions, but you don't speak up enough. I might talk to the scientists and say, okay, well, you know, you have the great opinions. Why don't you say, you know, speak up a little bit more on the team? So developing others, not just within your area, but just if you ever see opportunities, just seize those opportunities to develop others.